Hi, my name is Willem Verbeke and I did my PhD in particle physics at Ghent University in Belgium. Hello, I'm David Walter and I did my PhD studies at DESI in Hamburg. My name is Angira Rasogi. I graduated with a PhD in physics from Isar Pune in India last year and currently I'm a postdoc at the Lawrence Berkeley uh, National Lab in the US. Uh, since I was a young kid in school, I was always curious to know how universe works and uh, the unsolved mysteries were even more intriguing to me and to basically realize that all these macrostructures around us are born from these fundamental matter particles and the forces acting upon them. So then I decided to study physics in university. In university, I slowly got more and more interested in the fundamental aspects of physics, but I was leaning a bit more towards the theory. Luckily, I got the chance to spend the summer at CERN and I immediately got hooked on experimental particle physics. So I was always interested in science and technology and during my undergrad studies, I got more and more interested in the fundamental questions. Um, to take all your holidays that you have. Because I didn't. <laughs> to take other people into account. Collaboration is really important in an experiment as big and complex as CMS. And if you can't get any other people on board with your ideas, it doesn't matter how good they are. I feel PhD is a time when you can be really adventurous and exploratory. So you should not really fear from uh, failures and uh, be hungry to learn, uh, like keep learning new skills and uh, facts every day. <laughs> Gravity. I would really like to know if there is a grand unification of forces at some high energy scale and if it is, then what is that energy? I think finding particles is great, but they would just be a manifestation of some deeper underlying theory. So knowing the theory would of course be the ideal situation. I would like to know where I should look at to find new physics. So I I think Socrates would be nice to have a beer with because I like to discuss about philosophical questions a lot. Ernest Rutherford. I think he has made so many incredible breakthroughs in nuclear and particle physics and he also just seems like an interesting character in general. He's also one of the few scientists I've quoted in my thesis. That would be Dr. Homi Jahangir Baba. So he was a very pronounced scientist from India and his contributions towards bringing Indian nuclear science program up to speed with other countries were really a great force to reckon with. I tried to look for new fundamental particles that would shed light on some of the puzzling aspects of the universe such as uh, what is the origin of neutrino masses and why they are so small or the magnetic uh, movement of muon that we have measured in the experiment that doesn't agree with our basic understanding. But at the same time I also tried to question what we already knew of like um, the conservation of lepton number which is a quantum property or the reason behind absurd mass hierarchy between the three generations of matter particles. And all this was done by looking for more new particles. I used modern machine learning techniques which has definitely pushed the limits of these unknowns beyond what we have uh, reached from any of the LHC experiments. I believe that there is light at the end of the tunnel and that the end is not that far. My thesis describes a number of searches for physics processes that exploit multiple charged platforms. The first result shown in the thesis is a search for sterile neutrinos, decaying to three charged leptons in previously uncharted territory. The second result discussed in the thesis is a search for a very rare standard model process, single top quark production in association with a Z boson. This is about 50 times more rare than the production of a Higgs boson. By using machine learning to identify charged leptons, and by completely redesigning the analysis strategy to search for this process, an unambiguous discovery of the process was made for the first time. The last result discussed in my thesis is a search for supersymmetry. The first time that parametric machine learning was used to search for supersymmetry. It might also open the door for future searches for new physics to use similar techniques. So I worked at CMS and 
studied a rare process where a single top quark is produced in association with a set boson. And for the first time I did some differential measurements where I measured uh, quantities that are related, for example, to the spin of the top quark and other kinematic uh, variables. And additionally, for my work I studied luminosity determination in CMS.